Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I've just finished setting up my scope and I'm about to start collecting some data on the Lobster Claw Nebula. But this video isn't going to be about that. I'm actually going to take you outside of the garden tonight and try and capture my first Milky Way shot of the season. So it's been an absolutely beautiful day today. Uh, sun's been out, it's been about 23 degrees most of the day and it should be clear all night long. The moon has just set, it was a gorgeous crescent 3% moon and it was right next to Venus. So I tried to take an image of that. Um, if it came out well, I'll put it up on screen now, but there's no moon for the rest of the night. The Milky Way core should start to rise just after midnight, about quarter past, half past 12. So I thought I'd use this as a, an ideal opportunity opportunity to actually take you out on a little vlog to try and capture the Milky Way. Now I'm going to go about 40 minutes away to a place called Yuli. Um, there used to be an old um, hilltop fort there so it's quite high up and it should give me quite good views of the Milky Way and I've got two shots in mind. The first is a Milky Way arch so I'd like to try and get a Milky Way arch image. I'm not sure whether I'll get that tonight um, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. And the second is a an an image with a tree in the foreground um, looking straight towards the Milky Way. Um, I've scoped out on Google Earth and hopefully that should look quite nice. Now if this time, if I'm not too tired, I'm going to go on to a second location called Tyndall's Monument. So this is um, just about 10-15 minutes down the road from, from Yuli and hopefully I could get um, a second image of the night from there. Tyndall's Monument is actually quite close to, to Bristol looking south so I don't know whether the Milky Way will actually show up there or whether I'll be too close to Bristol for the light pollution. But anyway, hopefully you, you'll enjoy this video and join me on my journey outside of the garden. Okay, so I've just arrived in my first location and I'm a little bit late, so I'm about 20 minutes uh, later than I hoped to be because I had a bit of uh, an issue setting up the telescope at home. So I don't think I'm going to be able to head on to uh, Tyndall's Monument tonight, but hopefully I should still be able to get an image, maybe two images from this location. So I've got about a 15, a 10, 15 minute walk up the top of the hill now, so I'll bring the camera back out when I'm at the top and I'll show you the uh, composition and the settings and everything that I'm using. Okay, so I'm at my first location now and I've just taken my first image. Now, I was a little bit late for the Milky Way arch, unfortunately. I think the core had risen too high, so I couldn't really get a decent shot of that, but I'm hoping that I can, uh, can get a couple of nice images of the Milky Way anyway. It's really dark out here. I can see a lot of uh, stars with my naked eye, so it is really nice. So I'll just show you the, the composition that I'm going for at the moment. So you probably won't be able to see it, but I'll try and show you on the back of the screen. Um, so hopefully you can pick that up. Um, there's a single tree with a pathway leading to that tree and then the Milky Way is just arching over the top. So what I'm doing, I'll show you my settings, I am taking 10 second exposures, I'm shooting at f2 and I've got the ISO set to 2500. The equipment I'm using is the Sony a7 III and then I've got the size 25 f2 lens that's the 25 mil lens on there so 25 mil the um, the 500 rule says that you can push that to 20 seconds but I find if I go beyond 15 seconds or so I tend to get a little bit of star trailing so I'm keeping the exposure to about 10 seconds and I'm taking multiple images I'm taking about 15 or so images maybe more maybe 20 and then I'm going to stack them in post so yeah this is my first my first image of the night hopefully now I can wander around and try and find some more so I've actually uh, left that location now because I got a little bit freaked out there are there were about 20 sleeping cows <laughs> just up where I was standing so literally about five ten meters from where I was standing because I really didn't want to uh, disturb them or, or get get stampeded or trampled by any cows so I took the image uh, scampered back here to record this piece to camera but now hopefully I'll wander around avoid the cows and find my second composition
Okay, so I think I've found a second composition. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see this because I'm quite close to this tree here. I'm not sure whether you can pick that up, but there's a dead tree just, there's a dead tree just here in the Milky Way arch, the top of the arch, probably the Cygnus region, not the core, just, uh, just arching over it. I was walking by it and the, the tree caught my eye. Um, it's not the, the Milky Way core, so I probably won't spend too much time here, but I just thought it would make quite a nice little composition. So I've taken a couple of test shots. I'll try and show you on the back of the screen if I can. So there you can see this is the composition. So that's the dead tree. And you can see just about, if it focuses, the, the Milky Way arch arching over the top. So I've changed lenses for this one. I've got the uh, 15mm f2 lens on there. Increased my exposure time because obviously I am shooting now with a wider angle lens so I can push that expos exposure time a little bit more. So I'm at f2 still. I've got the ISO to 2500 and I'm shooting at 20 seconds. So I just turn off my camera light and I will take an exposure and hopefully you can see this one pop up on the screen and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the image taken and that's what it looks like on the back of the screen. So I think it's gonna be quite a nice image, not the best. Um, I'm gonna probably take about 20 20 or so images here and then stack them in post. Don't need to do anything for the foreground because it's all basically just silhouetted. But that's, yeah, hopefully my second image of the night. I've got another composition and this was the one that I found on Google Earth earlier. There is a pathway, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this, there's a pathway just here which leads all the way down to a tree which I'm pretty sure you can't see and then the Milky Way. But I've taken a number of different images with this uh, on this composition so I've taken a couple of uh, foreground images so let me just load that up to show you. So I've taken a couple of exposures for the foreground, so hopefully you might be able to see that. Um, so yeah, you can see just about see that there's a this pathway here leading to this tree, and then I've taken a number of different exposures with the Milky Way going up over the top of that tree. So I'm really quite happy with this image. Um, I put the 25 mil back on, and I was shooting at uh, 10 seconds. 1600 ISO. I did experiment with the ISO so I took a few um, at about 2500 as well. So um, I think this is probably going to be my last image for tonight. Um, so thank you very much for, for joining me. Let me know which is your, your favourite image. I keep my eye out when I'm walking back to the car to see if I can see anything else but if I don't then uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want any more Milky Way vlogs and I'll do my best to, to get out with the camera. But thanks for, thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Just as I was walking away from uh, that last vacation, I turned around and realised there was a guy wild camping about 15, 20 metres behind me. So if you're watching this and you were camping in uh, on Yulee Hill um, in mid-June, I'm really sorry if I kept you up. I had no idea you were there. Um, but anyway, I got um, carried on walking and walking back to the car, I did spot one more location. So I just thought I'd really quickly show you this. So. Basically this is uh, quite high up now, I'm on the edge of a quite a high drop um, and you can just about see there's like a, a valley that leads all the way to the Milky Way. So I just thought I'd fire off a few shots. Um, looks like quite a nice image. 
there's uh, yeah just a just a nice view basically in the Milky Way so you can't really go wrong but anyway this is definitely going to be the last image now because it's two o'clock um, I need to get home need to get some sleep but thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video cheers